Okay, here's another good trick you can use the spinning swage tool set for. So I got the quarter inch one in here. Ooh, it's tight. It's not just a swage uh, in place of couplers and whatnot, but I also use it to make it a little extrusion to install. I have it ready here. A little quarter inch. Uh, Schrader extension here it is got out of my way so this is gonna be a little big i usually like using a small one so i don't know if this is gonna work on a small of the two but i like to puncture it with a sharpie screw it doesn't make any shavings it just kind of makes a point hey what's up let's try to set this uh, bone here and hope he doesn't fall probably will let's see and if this fails i'll just cut it out and put a t in there but Works real nice on the 3 8 lines and larger. Might be a little too much for this 5 16 So I uh, might just cut that out. But next thing I'll do, I didn't prep this, was I cut this real short and put it in there. And I just barely get it in there on the outer edge like that and braise it in. That way it's not inside. It's not causing any restriction. It's using the swage tool often, like this extrudes the metal out like that. Just like a, I don't know, it just looks like it might be factory after I weld it. And I'll make another video after I weld it in there. I didn't have it ready, but I, I kind of like doing that. Just a little trick.